Welcome. Good morning. Uh, Bruce Corcoran from Strawberry. Staff failed to disclose a significant letter from Caltrans at the board hearing on December 15th. That letter stated that Caltrans concurred with the peer reviewer's analysis and recommendations, and it also requested additional analysis as specified in the peer review and in a previous letter from Caltrans dated July 14th. This information was critically important for your board, the applicant, and the general public to know because it would have impacted your decisions and instructions to, and instructions to staff, the applicant's decision to continue or withdraw, and the general public's capacity for framing its arguments. According to Caltrans, the letter was sent via email at 4.15 on December 14th, the day before the hearing, to Jeremy Tajerian and Berenice Davidson. The staff report, which was written by Mr. Tajerian, states that planning staff did not become aware of the letter until after the hearing had ended. I accept Mr. Tajerian's at his word. However, this statement is misleading because Ms. Davidson did see the letter prior to the hearing and she forwarded a copy to Bob Garalka and to two others. Ms. Davidson attended the hearing, but she did not disclose the letter, and Mr. Garalka presented staff recommendations to your board, but he didn't disclose the letter either. I know for a fact that Mr. Garalka had the letter in his possession at the hearing because I asked for a copy after the hearing had ended, and he handed me the letter from his folder. I'm not blaming any one particular staff member for failing to disclose the letter, but I'm very critical of the process and procedures for handling important documents from state agencies such as Caltrans. I'm also critical of a staff report with a misleading statement after I had informed all of you in a letter dated December 22nd about staff's failure to disclose the Caltrans letter. This kind of op obfuscation of my public comments is improper. You need to address these problems. Supervisor Sears is my witness, therefore I'm asking you, Supervisor Sears, to take the lead in amending the staff report to say that DPW staff had received the Caltrans letter prior to the hearing but failed to disclose it at the hearing, so that the historical record in the staff report preserves what actually happened. And I call on you, President Kinsey, to assist Supervisor Sears with that amendment and to impress upon your staff the importance of full disclosure. As the as the self-professed primary promoter of the Bentley Holdings application, President Kinsey, which is another project not in your district and the effects of which you don't have to deal with, can we at least agree that the staff reports should be accurate rather than misleading so that we can have fair public hearings under your watch? This instance may or may not rise to the level of a Brown Act violation, but it fits the same pattern. That concludes my remarks.